Today I'm going to show you how to use the Beats feature within CapCut in order to align your videos and your pictures to change and transition while the beat drops in your song. The first thing I want to do is import a song. I'm going to click Audio and find a song, we'll say this one, which is a minute long. Add to track. Now let's hear the beat. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now Okay, it's a little bit faster of a song, um, so it has a faster tempo. What I'm going to do is click on this song, and you should see a flag here with an A underneath. That is your auto beat feature. So if you click on it, you have three options right now. You see none, beat one, and beats two. Beat one is going to have fewer beat changes, and beats two is going to pick up more beats in your song. I'm going to choose beat one to show you what it looks like, and you'll see some yellow dots appear at the bottom of my audio clip. All right, I'm going to zoom in, and you can see a whole bunch of yellow dots here. Let's hear, um, let's hear how that goes with the song. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song, now I think this song is a little bit too fast for this beat correlation, so I'm going to change it to beats two to add more Beats. So you can see there will be more yellow dots as soon as I click this button. All right, now there's a whole bunch of them. I'm actually going to trim down my audio clip for this tutorial down to about 15 seconds. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. Okay, now you can see all of the beat drops. Let me play the song now. I've seen you in a movie. I heard you in a song. Now... Okay, that seems more appropriate for this song. Now I want to import my video that's going to go on top of this audio segment. So if you click Media and Import a Video, I'm just going to choose this video of a guy playing guitar by the bridge. You click the plus to add to the track. And now you can see it went on top of our audio clip. I'm going to trim it down. I'm actually going to trim them both down so this whole project is a bit shorter. So let's go down to about six, seven seconds here. Okay, so now I have my video on top of my audio. And what I want to do is add a transition at each one of these yellow dots, at each one of the beats. So if with your cursor, your white line highlighted above your yellow dot, so I am going to do Control B, which split it right where my cursor was. I'm going to go to the next yellow dot, control B, and split each one of these. Oops. Oops. Okay, now I have a transition assigned to each one of my yellow beats, and now I'm going to choose which transition I want to apply. So go to the transition section at the top and choose a transition that you want to happen each time the yellow dot appears. I'll just choose something pretty simple. Let's do a little flash, a glitch flash. Hitting the add to track will add it to your project. You can see it just assigned itself to the first transition. If you wanted to apply to all of them, you would just go over here and click Apply to All. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of them. Let's see how it looks. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like you already know. Okay, it looks pretty cool. So now if I wanted to just go in and change maybe this one. See, I don't want all of them to be the same transition. You can go in and change one or two to be something uh, different. So now this one's going to be this bubble blur, and then this one will be the flash. So let's see how they look together. In a movie, I, heard you in a song. Now I, I think that looks pretty cool, so you can do that for a few of them. Okay, let's see how it looks. Seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song, now I know that this... I think that looks pretty great. Now I want to show you how to use effects at each of your beats. So I'm going to undo all of the work I just did here. 
to take away the transitions. Okay, now I'm back to the starting point. I'm going to move my cursor to the beginning and I'm going to go to the effects section here at the top. I'm going to find an effect that looks like something I'd want to add to my project. Let's do... that looks pretty interesting. Okay, so I want to do Smart Shape Sharpen. What I want to do is hover over my first beat drop and I'm going to apply Add to Track Smart Sharpen. Now you just want to change the length of this effect so that it doesn't take up the same amount of time between beats. I just want it to be a quick flash of a uh, effect. So once you have it to the length you want it, you can just click Control C to copy or you can right click and copy. And now I'm going to paste it at my next yellow beat. So I'm going to Control V to paste it and go to my next yellow dot, Control V and do that for the rest of them. This is adding that effect at each one of your beats. Okay, let's see how it looks. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like you already knew me. And just like the last one, you can change out effects if you wanted to apply a different one at this section. You could always delete one and add a different one at that section make it shorter, and then I like to keep it in the same uh, keyframe here. Okay, let's see how it looks with multiple. I heard you in a song, now I know that this will never go wrong, like you are. Okay, now I want to show you how to apply a transition at each beat for photos instead of videos. So I'm going to delete out my video and all of my effects here by highlighting them all and clicking delete. This takes me back to the beginning. And I'm going to move my cursor to the left and go to media. And I'm going to import about eight different photos. So I'm going to click control click and that highlights multiple photos so you can bring them all in at once. And click the plus sign to add to track. Okay, now you can see all my photos are much longer than my audio clip here. So you are going to hover your cursor over that yellow dot again and you're going to click split or control B. What that does is splits your photo into two pieces so that it's going to match your beat. And you're always going to delete that right hand side. So I'm going to click delete. Oh, sorry there. Let me control Z to get these back. I had them all highlighted. All I want to do is delete this one piece. And now it brings the second clip to start at the end of that first beat. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to highlight over my second beat and I'm going to split and delete that right hand side. I'm going to do that for the rest of them. Okay, now I'm going to trim my audio down so it matches my photos. And let's see how it looks. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like so you can see that the photo changes at each beat drop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.